Hello, welcome once again to Stefan Things Plays Dark Souls 3. We are in the Firelink Shrine. If you saw the last episode, you know that I died repeatedly. It was horrible. I was completely bereft all the souls that I had lost. But now if you feast your eyes to the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you can see that I have 42,452 souls. That's right, I did a little farming. I went back to the High Wall of Lothric and I just farmed my ass off. I did a lot of grinding, killed a bunch of Lothric Knights. I just went on the circuit where I was killing the Lothric Knights, the giant fat winged knight, and the blue Lothric Knight. Because I had to make up for all the souls that I lost. And I figured we'd come back to Firelink. Since we found a new area, there should be some other people around here. There was that blind Irina, I think her name was. Um, so I ran back here. I wanted to level up. I wanted to buy that key to the tower. And just talk to some of these NPCs, see what they have to say. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Has he already said this? Good. The fire yeah, caught you breathing. Let's take a right. He ate sandy right. such a... All right, buddy. Let's see. Oh, wait, this guy's back. Lionhard, or Leonard, whatever his name was. Well, hasn't it been some time? I'm Leonard, the ring finger. Yeah. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. Wasn't that long ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, mm -hmm. then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. Oh. <gasps> oh, this I is. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> I'm not a psycho like you, buddy. Okay, so we just got a key. Now, the Dark Wraiths, they were in the first Dark Souls game. Evil enemies. But he's saying it High Lothric. So that's a key. I wonder if it's... There was a, there was a door at the High Wall of Lothric that I couldn't open. I wonder if that's to that door. The key is to that door. We'll have to check that out. Let's see if the Firekeeper has anything else to say. Welcome home, speak. Ashen One. To Ashen. Nope. Okay, Farewell, honey. Ashen One. Um, let's see. We need to find Irina. I already sent... Am I... I seem slow again. No, I'm under 70. I already sent little Grey Rat out on a scavenging mission. A little uh, merchant here. He said he wanted to go find some more stuff. So I said, hell, why not? Uh... Let's see what else we got here. What the hell is that? I heard noises. Here's Yol, the doofus. Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome back. I would do anything for my master. Anything? Just say the word. Should I do this again? Then shall we begin? Bearer of... So he's going to give me a free level again. I don't know if I should be doing this. And now that I look... Hollowing. If you look right under my level, it says Hollowing 17. What the hell is that? Be safe. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's creepy. He's going to freak me out somehow. I don't know what he wants. I don't trust Yol. Let's see where this Irina girl is. This is Cornex. Ah, there you I am. <laughs> oh, he gave me a welcome. Nice. Let's talk. Oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. All right. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the great swamp and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> All right, buddy. And I wonder if we could reinforce so that's Titanite shards. I don't know. We'll see how much we want to get into long. pyromancy later. For now, we'll leave it as is. Oh, there's Irina. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, champion of ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper. But I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. 
I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Well, well, well. Let's talk a little bit. Tell me about you yourself. No, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. Interesting. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. So she can teach Although, miracles. to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could ah. tell you many tales and more. Oh, only I cannot see. So do you need a braille tome? Terribly sorry. But you'll yeah. have to find me a divine tome in braille. They have braille in the Dark Souls world. Um, so she can teach miracles, but I don't... I have no faith, really. Yeah, I can't do any of these. Homeward, caressing tears, replenishment. Um, and I don't feel like... Ooh, what's this? Allows attunement of additional spells. Ooh, that's kind of nice. But I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might as well buy it, just in case. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to delve into magic have very a much. Pleasant journey, or champion. miracles. I have no faith. But I gotta have faith. Um, let's go to the handmaiden and purchase that key. Finally. Got the souls for it. They're burning a hole in my pocket. Ah, well, how may I? Um, she doesn't have any black firebombs. I wanted to get some black firebombs. How many normal? I only have two firebombs right now. Fuck that. Let's get a few more of those babies. And we will buy this key. Yes. Oh, that hurts, but we needed it. All right, that's cool. Ashen one. Be sure to bring you. Okay, so we got the key. We might as well level up a little bit, too. Let's talk to the fighter keeper again. Welcome home. Speak them. Very well. Then top pick. All right. Let's see. So we've got... All right. We've got three levels. Oops. Stop that. This D-pad is really finicky. What do we need? What do we need? I'm See, I'm tempted to go into luck for item discovery, but... Eh. I don't know. And maybe give myself a little bit of faith, but I don't know. I really wanted to level up dex and strength. Maybe we'll get strength a little more even with dex. And then vitality is for our equip load. That's always nice. But I think I'll leave that where it is for now. Endurance for more stamina. That could be good. And then vigor for hit points. I'm already pretty good there. Let's go up one more for endurance got our strength up and we shall confirm god it costs a lot to level up these days all right we're at level 32 the grinding is paid off so now we've got that key where are we we shall run back where the hell am i we'll run outside or actually i guess we have to get from the inside here let's unlock that tower all right here we go Unlocking the tower. I should look at the item description for that key. Gotta keep pressing the wrong freaking button. So this is the tower key. Key to the dilap dilapidated tower. Key to the decrepit tower behind Firelink Shrine. The bell tower is the grave of Firekeeper's past. When a Firekeeper has served her purpose, she is led to true darkness where she enjoys a long-deserved sleep. Alrighty. What are we gonna get here? Ooh. Visions of a gorgeous view. People love mentioning the view, don't they? Okay, so this looks like the place where you would be able to jump down onto the roof, maybe? Should I risk this? And then I think I can kick that ladder down. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa, where am I? I'm, I'm, I'm walking on sunshine. Alright, that wasn't that bad. Let's kick this ladder down. Kick! Cool. Now we have access. We've never actually been up on this top part of the roof. Is there anything up here? Oh, look, look. It's the actual nest, I think. Yep. You 
There's Pickle Pea or Snuggly, whatever the hell his name is. Me, me, Pickle Pea. Me, me, Bumperum. All right, let's see if we can give him something. Let's see here. I've already tried an Ember, I believe. We've got the Siegbrow that Siegvard gave us. Let's try this. Ooh. Pumperum, pumperum. It's Pumperum. Pumperum, pumperum. He likes it, or she. What do we get? Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold on. Oh. This. <laughs> this is Solaire's armor from the first game, from Dark Souls 1. It's not very good armor, apparently. But this is Solaire's armor. Look at this. Praise the sun. That's hilarious. You. You. That's so awesome. Me. Me. Oh, that is really cool. I wonder if we can get his whole set from him. Me. Bumperum. Okay, bird. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else we've got. Green blossom. You. You. No. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, man. I just used my buff. All right. Alluring skull, maybe. Oh. Oh, oh. What is it? Hello, carving. What the hell is that? Smash on ground to say hello. A strange head of unknown origin carved from arch tree. It speaks when thrown on the ground. This head says, hello, have another look. Do you sense the am amicability in its eyes? Um, okay, I have no idea what that's for. Uh, oh, I guess we'll see what else we can leave here. What about vertebra shackle? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is it? Lucatil's mask or lucetil? What is that? Oh. Uh, I don't see. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, weird. That's creepy. How much does that weigh? 3.3, that's 2.1. Let's take a look. Aha! <laughs> what the hell? I'm a musketeer, bitch. Uh, interesting. I don't know if that's part of an entire armor set or what. We'll go back to the mask for now. Um, cool, so we found some stuff that Pickle P liked. I, I'm just calling him Pickle P. I don't know. Um, but I think we've run out of things. We could do this forever, but whenever I have new items, I'm going to come back here and see what he wants and what he'll give me in return. I'm going to get rid of this for now because my knight's armor is actually better. Cool. All right. So let's head back down. All right, Pickleby. We'll head back into the tower and see what we find. Wow. Lothric Castle in the background. All right, so we have reached the bell tower. Hmm. Oh, there's stuff down there. There's definitely stuff down there. Oh, wow. I need to jump on that, apparently. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to try that. And we have an elevator. Jump off a ledge anywhere here. All right. What do we got? What do we got? For 20,000 souls, it better be something impressive. Ah, what have we got? Firekeeper soul. Hmm. 
Now, in the first Dark Souls game, I think you could use those to reinforce your Estus Flask, perhaps? But I'm not sure what purpose they'll have in this game. Is that it, though? I guess there's other items down below that I can get to. And I guess also, if you spent the 20000 and didn't do the jumping onto the roof trick that I did for hours and hours and hours, then you would have gotten an Estus Shard and some other cool items. So, 20000 though. That's crazy. All right, we'll head down. We'll see if I can make a jump. So where was that? Okay, there's that. I think I just need to run straight off. It looks like if I'm lined up right about here, this isn't going to be good. All right, here we go. Uh. Oh, that hurt me. Ooh. Oh, wow, look. Firekeeper robe, firekeeper gloves, firekeeper skirt. Okay, I can dress like a firekeeper now. Is there anything else? I think that was the only thing on a ledge, and now I've got to jump all the way down. I better drink some Estus first. How far down is this? Am I going to die? Ah! Oh, shit. Ooh, that was, that was a fall. All right, but we survived. Let's get out Mr. Torch, shall we? Look at that. Said I was stupid for buying a torch. You said, oh, look. These must be all the corpses of the fire keepers. Yeah, they've all got their eyes obscured. I don't know if they gouge their eyes out or if they just put their little masks on. Wow. This is crazy. So I guess the corpse that I got all the fire gear, fire keeper gear off of was thrown down from up above but got caught on that ledge on the way. An Estus ring. Interesting. Why do I keep doing that? Let's see. Estus ring. Increases HP restored with Estus flask. That puts me over my limit, though. Green ring crafted from shards. Increases hit points restored by Estus flask. This ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Uh, interesting. All right. Cool. So I guess I should go show the Firekeeper soul to our Firekeeper now. Now this door is unlocked. Let's go see what she has to say. It's where we fought the Swordmaster. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. Alrighty. Welcome home. I speak thy Ashen One, this is... Much like what lies within me, then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Alright. The Dark Sigil. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. What's the Dark Sigil? 6,640 souls. No. What's the Dark Sigil? Farewell, Ashen One. I wonder if she'll have something to say now if May I talk to her. Flames guide. All right. Welcome home, speak. Ashen One, to be I Ash Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. What is the Dark Sigil? Dark Sigil accumulates curse, a black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole, the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This dark sigil will never heal, but there is a tale told of a firekeeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to a bearer of the curse. What? Why do I have this? And it's in the keys. Can I get rid of this? Leave. Is it gone? No. What the hell? Why do I have a dark sigil? And why am I, what is, what is this hollowing 17? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Wait. 
Wait one goddamn minute. Ah! What the hell? My face! My beautiful face! What the hell is going on? Yol. It was Yol, wasn't it? Son of a bitch. Where the fuck is that guy? He turned me into a fucking hollow. I don't know how, I don't know why, but now I'm a fucking hollow. You son of a bitch. Oh, I would, as I have said, but I, I Okay, you're playing dumb, huh? Be safe. So I've been, I've been cursed with some sort of dark sigil now. And if I want to get it removed, I have to pay the firekeeper many, many souls. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what happened. Yol, the bastard. Let's put our shit back. I have to cover my shame. I'm a freak. God damn it. All right. Well, we're going to head to the High Wall of Lothric. And we'll see about this dark wraith. This has been interesting, though. Aside from my gross disfigurement, it's been a while. This is nostalgic. Now I can just slaughter everybody with no problem. Welcome! Hey, I'm back! Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we're wreaking havoc here. Bam. Tried to instigate, didn't let him. The worm has turned, my friends. I'm not gonna be your little beach volleyball to, to kick around and spike and stuff. Let's see if I can remember this. So the dragon's gone, we don't have to worry about that. I think it must be in that tower that the dragon was guarding. Look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you, shield guy. I kicked you. Standard bolt. Um, now the dragon is going to be burning these dudes, though, so now I have to kill them all. And there are quite a few. Whoa, okay. Maybe the dragon was a good thing. Alrighty. My lord, there's quite a few here. There's the instigator. Oh, boy. Here we go. One shot. Oh shit, I was gonna try to kick him again. All right. Oh well, how's it going? Let's see if we can find this doorway. Must be over here. Aha, we can fight a Lothric Knight now. Oh my God, what am I doing? Stupid. Oh, wait. Oh, he did. All right, so this goes up to the tower. Okay, this is the bonfire I should have gone to, obviously. Um, I don't know, Do am I, am I gonna need more flasks? I don't know what I'm gonna be facing here. I might as well heal up. If only use one flask, I guess, but whatever. Whoa, sh oh Jesus, I hate those phantoms. All right, here we go. Lots of night. Uh, oh shit! God damn it! God damn everything! Stop it! Stop it! Wait for the night to exit the building. There we go. Trigger the assassin. Kill the assassin. Collect the souls. One thing about this game, whenever you get cocky, cocksure, 
It'll come and hand your ass back to you. With interest. See, I did it again. Being stupid. All right, so where is this door? I don't know where the door is. There's a dude down here, I know. Halberd guy. Aha! I think that's the door. I think this is the door. All right, use the lift chamber key. Monstrosity ahead. Uh oh. So the dark wraiths were horribly scary in the first Dark Souls. Might as well top up my Estus. This might be bad. Oh, you know what I want to do too? I want to use one of these coins because that will increase my item drop chance. And if there is a dark wraith, they oh boy. Okay, here we go. Can I sneak up on him? Looks like he killed all these Lothric knights. That's lovely. Hello? Oh, baby! Ah! Shit! Okay, we've got over half his health off. Oh, he's, he's kind of nasty. But he's fucking dead! He's already fucking dead! All I got was a red eye orb. That's annoying. I wanted his sword. His sword looks awesome. What do you think, buddy? You're not so dark now, are you? Is there anything else in here? So I got a red eye orb. Am I supposed to go back to Leonhard? What the hell's been going on in here? Creepy, man. Try stabbing in the back. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I tried and I succeeded. So I wonder if I can keep coming back here and killing this dude? Huh, it's a skeleton? What? So that's it? I just go kill this guy? All right, we'll head back to the Firelink Shrine and tell Leonard what happened. All right, now is he back here? Will he be pleased with us? Aha! Aha, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were no ordinary man. Ooh, I got an applause gesture. This guy looks really cool. I want his stuff, I should kill him. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> Everything we've read about the Cathedral of the Deep so far is not good. Um, let's look at this red eye orb. So I'm assuming, so the cracked consume to invade another world. So this just, okay, you can just do it at will. It's non-consumable. You'll just always have it. Invade other worlds at will. Defeat the host of embers of the world you have invaded to gain the strength of fire. The red eye orb is rooted in a tiny land swallowed by darkness long ago. Some choose to put the orb to their uses, to other uses, to embark on this path and to the service of Rosaria in the Cathedral of the Deep. All right. So if we ever want to invade anybody and ruin their day, I guess we can do that. You know what I want to do, though? I want to head back and see if I can kill that Dark Wraith again and see if he drops anything awesome. So we're going to try that out. Oh, you know what? I've got over 6,000 souls. I'm going to heal this goddamn sigil. Welcome home. Speak then. Make me into a monster, a freak. Yes. Heal my sigil. Halloween reversed. Dark Sigil has been see has been healed. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, Kevin! You're back! You're beautiful again! Hooray! Let's look at our inventory. Do we still have... Okay, no Dark Sigil. 
All right, I don't really know what that was about. Maybe that was some sort of quest or something that was going to inspire more interactions with NPCs. But fuck that shit. I did not want to look like a shriveled raisin man for the entire game. So let's put our mask back on. Now we're covering something beautiful. And we'll head back and check out this dark wraith. Uh, tower on the wall, yes. And don't worry, in the next episode, we will start exploring the Road of Sacrifices. I haven't done anything there yet at all. I was just doing some grinding, and now we're doing some administrative tasks. There's a lot of stuff that I want to do that I don't really do on camera. Um, just reading item descriptions and things like that, making sure I talk to all the NPCs properly so I don't miss any little side quests and stuff. Oh, fucking ass. What am I doing? But, um... We'll do some of that on camera every once in a while. Aha! He is. Okay. We're gonna use another one of my little items, the rusted coin. Crush to temporarily boost item discovery. I don't know if I ever read the description here. Crushing the coin boosts item discovery. Those who have lost their fortunes rely upon this superstitious practice, hoping to retrieve what was once theirs and more. All right, we will use. Okay, and now, sneaky, sneaky, creep the monkey. Do you remember me, my friend? Oh, oh, oh. oh he's breathing. He's scary. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Surprise! Oh, fuck! That didn't work. Oh, no! Let's try that again. I don't have my little coin to crush anymore. Unfortunately. But we shall try to sneaky, sneak, sneak. Light-footed creeping. Creeping on the dark red. Ha! Yeah ha! And... Oh, charge R2! Ah! Oh, what is he doing? Something bad. Something bad! There it is! Fuck you! Nothing! Oh, I really want that sword. Really badly. Alright. I guess we're doing it again. Nope! No, what was that? Jeez, Louise. Again, no sword. I want to loot your corpse of valuable items, please. Will you please give me these? Ah ha ha. Bam. Okay, sorry. Leaving now. There it is. There it is. This guy's not that hard. He's not that hard at all. He still won't give me the fucking sword. Look at that thing. It's awesome. Give me your sword. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me the sword. Give me the sword! Give me the fucking sword. Alright, gang. Well, I don't think we're gonna get the sword. Maybe it never drops. Maybe I'm just too unlucky. But, uh... I could kill him all day. Maybe I will off-camera. We shall see. But for now, I think that's been enough of Stuff and Things Plays Dark Souls 3. When we return in the next episode, we shall finally see what is down the road of sacrifices. Completely brand new area. Have no idea what to expect. I'm already lost. Where the hell am I? And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be exciting. I think it's going to be fun. So, until then, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things Plays Dark Souls 3. 
I'll see you later.